Hey everyone, welcome back to Get Poised. You found my strong and sexy playlist where I share exercises to help you feel better in your skin, no matter what level you're currently at. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you nine different exercises that focus on strengthening your core, along with the added benefit of improving your balance. So we're gonna go over some variations of the more popular exercises, and I'll be emphasizing form. So feel free to follow along with me just grab a mat because we'll be on the floor and you're going to want some padding. The first one is well known to everyone and is the plank. So what I'm showing you here is the low plank and is the most common way to perform a plank. So let's talk about form. You'll notice that my elbows are directly under my shoulders and you want to make sure that your bottom doesn't start to sag but you also don't want your bum high up in the air either. So you're looking for that straight line and this requires that you keep those abs nice and tight. Now we're moving into a side plank. Now again, the body is in that diagonal line, head included. You wanna watch out for sagging too low or lifting too high when you start to fatigue. Make sure that you're breathing through all of these exercises. It's real easy to hold your breath and not realize it. The last one is a reverse plank. Notice that my hands are pointed back behind me. And I'm showing you the too low and too high thing again because it happens pretty quickly when you get tired. Another way to do the reverse plank is to place your hands so that your fingers are pointed towards your hips. Play around with it and see what's comfortable for you. And lastly, I'm doing a low reverse plank. I actually find this to be a little more difficult and it requires more concentration to really keep those abs tight and keep your body in the correct position. Our second exercise is called the bird dog. This one is great for balance as well. As you can see, it's not always as easy as it looks. This is a terrific exercise for strengthening your lower back too. Now you're gonna see that I keep looking at the camera and that's because I'm checking my form. It's easy to lift the leg too high or too low. You wanna extend and lift it so that your knee is at the height of your buttocks. If you're finding that you keep falling over, you can modify it. So here I'm going to modify for balance reasons by just lifting up my arms separately. Okay, once I feel good about that, I can work on lifting my legs separately. And then once you feel more balanced, go ahead and retry the full movement. Number three, I'm calling floating shoulder taps. These really engage the core and require some concentration. So those knees come a few inches up off the ground while you stay on all fours. You need to shift your weight when you reach up to tap your shoulder, but keep it as minimal as possible. And here I'm just changing the angle a bit so you can see better the weight shift that's happening in my legs. Keep that core super tight, don't forget to breathe. Moving on to number four is the jackknife. Here you're keeping your arm and your opposite leg straight while you reach diagonally across to touch your foot. You'll notice that I like to put the arm that's not reaching at shoulder level out to the side of my body because this helps with balance. Now our fifth exercise may be one you haven't seen before. It's called row your boat. Make sure that your back is straight and your core is tight and when you lift your feet up off the floor. 
Remember to breathe through that movement. Number six is hip dips. Start by getting into a plank position. Always keep that belly tight and touch each hip to the floor. Elbows are directly under your shoulders. Number seven is the dead bug. Now this is similar to the jackknife, except that you're gonna be moving all of your limbs at once. And notice that I'm coordinating my breath as well. You can also modify this one to have your knees bent a little bit more if you need to. All right, mountain climbers are number eight, and there's a good chance that you're familiar with this one. So get yourself into a high plank and quickly bring those knees up towards your chest. And here I'm just showing you from both sides. Keep that head in neutral as well. Nice job, guys. Coming in at number nine are hip thrusters. These are definitely a staple exercise for glutes. Your heels are situated below your knees and you wanna focus on lifting your hips and really feeling the squeeze in your glutes. You wanna lift those hips so that your torso and your spine is level. And really hold that for two to three seconds at the top. There you go. And to make it a bit more intense, you can pulse at the top like this. Now, if you have a fabric booty band or a leg circle, place it just above your knees, and we will do the same exercise with the band to add more resistance and intensity. And I'm starting with a regular thrust and then adding the pulsing. And you wanna have a little tension on that band as well so that your knees are pushing out away from each other a little bit. Lastly, if you need a little more challenge, you can always add some weight. Dumbbells are great if you have them. If not, you can use just about anything that you can comfortably place on your hips, like a jug of water on its side or even a sack of potatoes. I mean, hey, we gotta get creative working out from home, right? Yeah, you got this. Start by doing each of these nine exercises for 30 seconds each and modify from there. You want to give yourself a good challenge, so try to get through all of them. Didn't those feel great? These nine exercises are perfect to get you started or add to your routine. Thanks for joining me today. I do hope you'll continue with these. Having a strong core is the basis on which we build all of our daily movement and other exercises. If you're planning on doing squats or bench press or shoulder exercises or deadlifts, all of these need a strong foundation in our core to execute them properly. And no matter what your fitness goals are, make it a point to keep your core strength a priority. Your future self will thank you. See you next time when we focus on glutes.